Hi everyone, Art Journal page today. I'm working in this sketchbook which is a uh, quite large and I'm going to start with stamping all around to have uh, details for what's coming up next. I'm going to use archival ink. You need permanent uh, ink pad like archival ink or memento or stays on something like that because I know that I'm going to use wet stuff on top. I'm going to put some a uh, paper napkin well the uh, backing of a paper napkin that I've uh, sprayed with uh, my homemade sprays I will show you in a minute so first of all I uh, start stamping and I just picked all kinds of stamps I uh, first of all some text I don't care what it says I just want it as a, a visual texture in the back all and just all kinds of stamps that I want to use so let's start with uh, some text so this is going to be quite random Some of it won't show, I don't care. Again, this is just to create some interest in the back. Switching, let's see, this is a larger one. So I'll try to use this first because it's large. I'm aiming to put it in the corners or at least two corners. more for a uh, added interest and also it will give some kind of framing to my page there are going to be flowers on my page and leaves so it goes with the theme here we go next let's do some of this I'm starting with this one again random on my page some will show some won't really don't care also as you can see I'm switching the angle Okay, so I need something else like this and again I think it will help frame my page so I'm just repeating it here in on the edge and I think I'll do it on the other side also okay here we go let's see what else I've picked oh I had this I wanted some a, what they are called ginkgo leaves in the back it really doesn't matter as long as I think it goes with your theme and you have fun with it <laughs> again quite random let's see and not all of it will show I'm going to glue some napkin I'm going to stencil there are going to be more layers and if I feel that I need more then I will uh, stamp on top or stencil 
right now I'm doing this as I said to uh, have details in the back also because I know I want to glue some napkin here there will be texture and it will be uh, harder to stamp when you have texture on your page so I'm going to use I'm going to adhere this uh, two pieces of uh, paper napkin that I've dyed and I I'm going to show you how I've made this I'm taking some plastic bag taking two uh, layers or plies uh, from the back of paper napkin putting it like this then taking sprays these are homemade sprays uh, from gel food coloring and water uh, there is no recipe i just put a few drops of the gel food coloring and i see i test it to see if this is intense enough now i always uh, scrunch it up so i will have more texture to it and to eliminate the uh, creases of the napkin so I'm putting it like this and just having fun spraying and this is again random do whatever you like with whatever colors you have so you get uh, what I'm doing so moving this aside, as I said, I'm going to use this too. And again, I don't want any uh, straight lines in the back. So I'm what I'm going to do is take my this uh, paper napkin apart a little bit and glue pieces. Uh, to my page I'm putting some water here and with a brush just going to take a piece of the paper napkin I'm using it like this so I will I won't have straight edges here the whole point of this is to not have straight lines in the back so I can oh, I can uh, just tear the paper napkin or do this and take some pieces that will overlap like so just to see that I have enough to cover my page all this is going to be glued down something like that so you get what I'm doing here and let's see eliminating here again straight line they can overlap that you will have more uh, interest by overlapping the colors so go for it here we go so something like this now I'm going to adhere it to my page with a with white glue that I'm adding just a little bit a uh, of water so uh, it won't drag on uh, the paper napkin and tear it of course it can be fixed if it's tear <laughs> if, if the paper napkin gets torn but I prefer not to deal with it so it's better to use a white glue with a little bit of um, of water and use a soft brush again so it won't drag on your paper napkin so uh, it would probably be better for this kind of thing to get uh, give it a little blast from a heat tool just to make sure that the ink is set but i think it's 
good enough, especially uh, since uh, this is a sketchbook paper and it absorbs the ink quite uh, quickly. So I'm just putting down the piece and I'm not straightening it. I want texture, I want wrinkles, so I'm letting it be like this. Now, for now, I'm just placing my uh, pieces on the page and after it they are uh, in place I'm going to go over with the same brush and glue to flatten uh, everything and I'm scrunching it again so I will have more texture, more wrinkles, and placing like so. And only when I'm, so just so you will see what I'm uh, talking about, after everything is in place, I'm just going and with the flat of the brush, just going over with the glue it will seal everything into place and all the texture and creases and wrinkles now I'm uh, not uh, I'm changing the direction of my brush so the wrinkles won't be all uh, to the same in the same direction so I will have movement and wrinkles all over and I will have interesting pattern in the back the, this is just adding to the whole thing okay so I'm going to continue adhering these pieces and I'll come back when everything is in place I'm back. So everything is dry. I also trimmed uh, the excess. I hope you can see the details and the wrinkles and all this lovely texture in the back. Now I want to start by darkening the edges of my page. I'm going to take an acrylic paint. This is a aubergine and I'm going to use several uh, purples. Uh, on my page and this is the darkest that I've took so I figured that's what I'm going to use to darken the edges I'm adding a water and I want to be gentle about it and if I need more I will add more right now I don't want it to again don't want uh, straight edges just by adding the water uh, I am giving it the opportunity to blend into the other colors on the paper napkin The more water, the more it will travel on the paper napkin. And I need more water. So basically, uh, that's what I'm doing to the edges. And... I really need to be careful not to just paint it with the acrylic and use it more like a watercolor again if I don't want harsh edges and I want everything to blend
I could probably also use watercolor and when I'm using this technique sometimes if I have an area that I don't like I will just go in either with watered down acrylic or with watercolor so where I think it's need more paint I'm taking more paint and adding and when I want where I want it to spread I'm just using the more watered down a paint it gives uh, my page a nice framing and without overwhelming I'm going in in several places with the watered down uh, paint just so it will be all one a uh, I don't know cohesive page <laughs> basically this is it okay I've got what I wanted now a uh, next stage I want some flowers in the back I have well, you can't see it, uh, I've uh, cut these flowers uh, from this on this acetate and uh, haven't used it yet, so you can't see it right now. I'm going to use um, the acrylic paint I have got here and let's see, I've got also burgundy and magenta just playing with the colors I hope in a minute you'll see <laughs> what I'm doing with this uh, stencil that you can't right, uh, right now see what's happening so dabbing into the purple and dabbing into this I like to change colors as I stencil so there won't be a solid um, stenciled image there will be several uh, shades again uh, let's see maybe use another one so they won't be all the same thing even I does don't see what I'm doing because it's transparent but once I use it uh, <laughs> it will be okay yeah let's see one here I'm moving this before my stencil in is inside it just changing between the colors like so and let's see another one here I need more of a darker purple I've got dark maroon here so let's play with this one <laughs> really doesn't matter just play Let's see. 
I'm pushing the sponge uh, so the uh, paint will get in all the wrinkles, all the texture I've got in the back. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe another one. I'm moving a little bit. Let's go and do another one here. Well, I don't know, maybe more. <laughs> maybe just one more and let's put it here this wasn't planned I knew I wanted a lot of flowers I didn't plan where I want them or how they are going to show on my page yeah moving on <laughs> I'm really liking all this color Okay, I want some uh, leaves, lots and lots of leaves, and I'm going to take this aside, take another piece. This is just um, some kind of like plasticky paper from some kind of files that I have, and I just uh, cut them and use them as a uh, palette. So I've got some uh, emerald green here and I'm going to put this here and some white so again I will have variations while I'm stenciling the leaves and I've got another stencil of leaves that I made this one at least this was already used so you can see <laughs> whatever is here and I'm again I'm just going to play with it and take another sponge okay just removing a dried paint on the makeup sponge and well let's start I just want to put some masking tape so this won't move while I'm working maybe I need another a uh, color of or another green color here so it will be even more interesting more variation but uh, for now I think I'll just use this And again alternating and letting them mix as I go it doesn't have to be planned it doesn't have to have a stem it just uh, adding the interesting details and let's see I think I will do more like this so I'm just playing again it's not a plan I'm putting down color and playing with the placement with the colors like so and even overlapping so I'm going to continue doing this and I'll come back I'm back so finished with stenciling the leaves now I want to do some stems this is a Posca pen I'm just making some like this again it's not planned just 
making something that will uh, give more definition to the whole thing and let's see something like that especially this this one needs some stem so it won't be floating uh, completely <laughs> in the air something like that Yeah, let's see. Okay, so now I want a more definition to uh, my elements and I'm going to use this uh, black marker and go around uh, what I've stenciled just so everything will be more defined. I'm not uh, concerned about being uh, too accurate. I'm also going around the leaves just so everything will pop up, especially that we have so many things going in the back. So this is going to take me some time to go over all the edges. So again, I'm going to continue off camera and I'll be back. So finished going I, around everything with the black and decided that I want a, a little bit more highlight to the petals so I'm using this pink Posca pen and just adding again quite randomly at the end of each petal a little bit of it just to make it pop <laughs> just a little bit more I don't know no explanation to it just so it would be more noticeable like so now I want to add uh, a fairy. I made a fairy just the other day and I'm going to explain how I've done it. The main uh, here, main <laughs> fairy here is just from a stencil I have. If you've got, you can print all kinds of, uh, there are free fr printables or even a, an image from a magazine uh, and then attach some uh, wings. The wings I've uh, drawn wings on tracing paper and just uh, folded it like so to have the wings and once I've got them I cut them out. Here are more of the wings and I've, uh, I've done several of them. This one I think is with a metallic acrylic pen this one I believe I've uh, just uh, colored the wings with this and the black lines are with black permanent pen and I've done some other ones uh, like this one this one well, all of uh, this is from nail polish and the thing about the wings is once you cut them fussy cut them out you can fold them and like here and then you stick them stick them on the back of your image like so so that's what i'm going to do just uh, add my fairy here and i added because i had the wings like this with the metallic pen i just went with them the same metallic acrylic paint like so 
and just gave some highlight to some of the some of the image like so just so it will be more noticeable so I'm just going to uh, adhere my theory to the page and this is going to be probably it especially that I don't have I can't feel more than 30 or 32 minutes on my phone maybe I will just if I do anything else to this page is just darken the edges a little bit more but this is it that's my page and I'm really liking all the details I have I will bring it close in the hopes that you will see what's going on here with all the details and the wrinkles and the texture I'm really liking it let's move this so basically this is it I hope you liked it thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below I'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now